Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. It is April 20th, 2017. It's almost April 21st. And in just a few days, there's going to be a drill in the New Jersey, New York area, right by Union City, called Operation Gotham Shield. Now, this story was broke by Superstation95.com. I definitely recommend checking out their website, and they've also got a really cool radio program as well that you can listen to. And according to FEMA documents that they got, it shows that there is essentially an exercise, a drill that's going to be done, where they're going to test, not test, but they're going to simulate what would happen if a 10 kiloton nuclear bomb was detonated in the atmosphere. And as you can see to the bottom right as well, I've got Google Earth pulled up. That is a highly, highly populated area. There's millions and millions of people that live out there. Very, uh, how do I put this? It's, I think San Antonio has a lot of people. You go to a place like that, and my goodness, it, it would drive you nuts if you're not used to being around a lot of people. So I find this interesting that this is happening after all the saber-rattling that's going on in North Korea, especially with China getting so heavily involved. And who knows what China's going to do? I mean, I go back to the situation that happened last year where they kept changing the price of their currency, and then all of a sudden one of their chemical plants blew up big time. 40-foot containers were thrown around like empty boxes or empty cartons. It was fascinating. Some people think that was from the rod of God. Some people say, oh, it was just chemicals, you know. They were just they were just doing some strange stuff in there. And you can come to your own conclusion on that. But this, what we're looking at, is actually something that Station Super Station 95 did where they came up with, uh, they used a secrecy website which uses computers and the latest scientific information to compile a scenario of actual nuclear blast effects and the nuclear secrecy scientists say the effect of a 10 kiloton nuclear bomb being detonated in Weehawken, New Jersey. I hope I said the name of that city correctly. I apologize if I didn't. That's what it would look like according to this website. Now, I was like, okay, I hear about stuff like this all the time. And oftentimes this information can be debunked. Is there really an exercise going on during that time? Well, yes, there is. As a matter of fact, here is the Gotham Shield 2017 NISA documentation where you can see the Gotham Shield 2017 Prevent, Protect, Respond, Recover. Move this a little bit to the... There we go. And here's the locations. The Gotham Shield exercise locations. D.C., New York City, New Jersey, Trent, New Jersey. Two places in D.C., it looks like. And then to take this even a step, and this is from the Department of Energy, and then we'll take this even a step further, and this is from the Greater New York Hospital Association's website. Let me read this to you real quick. Move this back. na 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 Murad Rahim, Field Supervisor, HHS Region 2, Regional Emergency Coordinator Program, shared information about a national female-led exercise scheduled to take place from mid-April through early May, Gotham Shield, is the name for a collection of smaller, separate exercises to evaluate the whole community effort to prevent, protect, from respond to, and plan initial recovery after the effects of an improvised nuclear device attack. The exercise will involve multiple federal, state, and city agencies. New York City plans to activate its emergency operations center on a single day of play and test its ability to respond 24 hours after an initial attack during the March EPCC meeting. Participants brainstormed ways that a small number of hospitals could explore how facilities at various geographic distances from the point of detonation would likely respond. The Greater New York Health Associ uh, Hospital Association is working with various government response agencies to plan this complimentary exercise. It's complimentary, you guys. It's complimentary. How nice of them, right? They love us so much. 
What do we do if we piss off other countries and they shoot nuclear bombs at us? Well, let's make an exercise for it. And here is the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the GIS Mapping Services, and here is on the event calendar from that website, the exercise Gotham Shield. So the government website here, as well as the New York Greater, the Greater New York Hospital Association, it's going to be the main operation to deal with all of the crisis actors and all the participants. It's going to be here at the MetLife Stadium. And also, if you go to shtfplan.com, they put together a good article about this as well. And you can see some of the organizations that are involved, the U.S. Department of Energy, the Department of Defense, the Domestic Nuclear Detection Office, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Northern Command, the State of New Jersey Office at Emergency Management, the State of New York Office of Emergency Management, the City of New York Office of Emergency Management, and who knows who else except for those that are involved in orchestrating this at the top levels. And even those guys might not know everybody involved because it all seems that it's so compartmentalized. And I wonder... If this is a precursor that's something that is actually going to unfold, let's hope not. Let's absolutely hope not. And that's not what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. This is an exercise that is taking place. And the unfortunate thing is a lot of times when specific exercises unfold, well, events like that take place the same day, the day after, a week later. A lot of times it's within the same few days, though. It's like an exercise gone live. Now, the TV series, Gotham, I'm a fan of this TV series. I think it's good. I like it. And one of the things that I wonder is if there's any subliminal messaging in any of the recent episodes or previous. I haven't seen the most recent episodes, but I've been keeping track of Gotham since its inception for the most part. And maybe there's some gems inside there that somebody could pick out that would portray a false flag, or an event that could take place. Because there's so many films in the past that have showed events that have unfolded, just little tiny gems or you know nuggets that you can say there is a connection, yet would it actually work in the court of law? Probably not. Hypothetical. Now what I'd like to do is let me, uh, let's go to the map here, Google Earth. I like, I love Google Earth. I think it's great. So here at Google Earth, you can see right there by Union City, essentially, is where the exercise is going to take place. So I just put a little pin mark there. Look at all the buildings. Highly populated area. And there might be a, a TV show or a movie that has some type of predictive programming agenda in there showing an event unfolding in this area. What was that one movie that came out um, at least 10 years ago where there was a nuclear detonation that went off in one of the stadiums? It was put in a vending machine. And they didn't get to it in time. Can't remember the name of that film. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comment section. That had, was it Denzel Washington and Ben Affleck? Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You know, I love our planet. I love our country. I love the opportunities that present themselves every day. Let's see if there's a way that we can keep the peace and prevent catastrophes from unfolding. I know I sound like a, a dreamer when I say stuff like that. I was talking to Alexander the other day about how cool it would be if we could get into the minds of the people that have 
the majority of the influence at the top levels that control the world and orchestrate things and, and convince them to take all their power, money, and effort and put it into things that would create a win-win situation. And he said, man, what are you, 15? And I thought about that. I really did. I thought to myself, well, maybe I'm being so optimistic that I'm thinking like a, like a teenager would. Maybe that isn't an option, you guys. Maybe thinking that these people that have so much power and control and influence, thinking that they're going to change and just be like, oh, yeah, I see the light. I'm going to help people now. I don't know. What do you guys think? What would be a nonviolent way to make a change for the better and create a system that was so powerful that it spanned the globe, or at least the nation. Or maybe you're overseas, and maybe you want your country or your township to change. If for all the change we want to see, then hopefully, you know, hopefully that's enough to start that spark, that initial movement because opportunities that present themselves with the right ideas and energy behind it are magical. Ideas and thoughts are far more powerful than the, the, the physical relics that are used to control people. Now, I'm excited for the event the X-Fest event, what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you guys where my bunker is out here in South Dakota. If you guys can make it May 19th through 21st, there is hundreds, there's hundreds of these concrete still bunkers that were built by the military. And you can see them, it's like a bird's eye view. There's like 400 feet on each side of you. Imagine being out there and living off the grid, having your own energy system, you know, getting solar power, wind power. And also we're going to do, uh, I, I'm going to work on, hopefully, hopefully this is, this is in the works, what's called a sun pool or a solar pond where you can actually create energy from a pool that you dig in the ground. It's awesome. Now, if you look around this area, <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. And this is so cool. Now, it's only about 30 minutes away from the Black Hills also. So if you've ever been to the Black Hills, if you like to go on car rides, if you like to ride your bike, if you want to go see Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore is further out. It's about an hour and a half, I think, to Mount Rushmore approximately. Yeah, it's a little bit less than that. But it's half an hour to the Black Hills. You've got Keystone, Deadwood, Sturgis is out there. And I think this is just a really neat opportunity for like a micro community setup, possibly kind of get off the grid, get some peace, build your own bunker the way that you want to, either bare bones or make it nice and fancy. I can't wait to get out there. Um, I'm probably going to get out there a couple of days early. And if you want to RSVP, terravivos.com, use the code LEAKPROJECT23. You can actually stay in one of these bunkers for free if you want to. And if you've got an RV, if you've got ATVs, if you've got horses, if you've got a telescope, I'm bringing my scope out there. We're going to check out the stars. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. And also, if you go to leakproject.com, uh, there's a special right now at leakproject.com where you can get an entire year membership for 50 bucks. And you'll get access to hundreds of podcasts, downloadable, streamable. You won't have to, to watch the banner commercials like you do on other platforms. Or you can just watch them free on YouTube. We do have exclusive content on Leak Project as well. The 50 bucks definitely helps the cause of Leak Project. And also, there's been some people that have had problems with the, the PayPal button when they've tried to, to do the membership and it hasn't worked for them. If that happens to you, just send me an email and I'll send you your password. I'll take care of it for you. It's real simple uh, on my end anyway. So thank you for your support, you guys. That's my quick shameless plug. Question everything and be the change you want to see.